Hi, this is Ron Martinson of ronmartblog.com. I'm here to talk to you today about two popular think tank photo bags. The first on my right here is called the Airport Commuter, and on the left is the Streetwalker Hard Drive. You may have seen my previous article about the smaller version of this called the Streetwalker Pro, which is one of my favorite bags. So I'm actually excited to get a chance to uh, talk to you about the bigger brother that's designed to hold laptops. So with that said, let's start by looking at just like the physical sizes um, and features on the outside. So I turn these bags on the left. You'll notice that the commuter has a handle, um, whereas the Streetwalker has a nice pocket on the side. Um, you also probably notice that the commuter is a little bit um, shorter. Let me zoom back a little bit here so you can see that. That it's a little bit shorter bag. And when I put these over on their sides, you'll notice that the commuter is a little bit wider bag and the streetwalker is just like its sibling. It has a pocket here. It um, has a nice pull-out tripod pocket on the bottom that tucks in here. And then there's these hooks for you to uh, actually hook it all up uh, nice and secure. There's this pocket up top that's really nice that holds your pins and cards and so on. And then there's even a place to hook up your keys, which I like. Whereas here on the commuter, it's a little bit more simple on the front without the tripod pocket. You get the same kind of pocket there, uh, but much smaller and place to hold your keys. This one has a hook versus Velcro and a little Velcro pocket here. If I turn these bags up on end, you see you have handles on both. And we throw them on the sides, other side. And you'll notice that, again, there's a little pocket here. It's kind of elastic, kind of uh, like stretch pants kind of spandex material. This has elastic stretch pocket as well, and another zip pocket on the side. If you flip them over on their backs, you'll notice that the Streetwalker uh, Pro here on the left, excuse me, Streetwalker hard drive here on the left has a chest belt that's adjustable for different form people. Um, you have places to hook up accessories. Um, you have one of the their special camera straps. You can put that there. You have a waist belt, uh, which actually tucks into the sides. And um, over here, pretty much the same thing. All the same basic components. A little bit different color, but roughly the identical design. A little bit more of a dry weave here uh, to help with heat, um, but pretty similar. On the bottoms, nothing here. Got a little velcro here. And that's it. Got a little handle on this one. So with that, let's go start taking a look inside. Let's start with the commuter first. Oh, there's a pocket right here I forgot to mention that has your um, way to tether your bag and it stopped. And a little zip pocket here as well as a little card pocket right there. So let's open this guy up. Take a look inside. And on the inside here, you'll notice there's a little insert that shows us that has a couple pocket wizards, a 580EX, um, some lenses and extenders and so on. And it shows a body without the lens attached, but if you see this divider comes out, 
you can attach a lens for Nikon. You got again a couple of pocket wizards, flash, same basic thing. And again, this one shows the divider removed for holding a shorter lens, but you could put a longer lens here just by removing dividers. On the inside, like all Think Tank photo bags, there's your cover, ring cover, and then this has the thin dividers in it uh, with some thick middle dividers and this is all the dividers that were included with this one so sometimes you get these think tank photo bags they're filled with dividers so that's a smaller set mainly because there's not a whole lot of configurations you're going to do with this one um, i'm not as a, much of a fan of these thin dividers that think tank photo has gone to lately um, they work well they take up less space they make the bag lighter but um, they don't have the real grip the other bags did uh, here's your strap for your, uh, presumably your tripod connector. And then here up top, you have a couple of zip pockets that are breathable, which I like that versus the old designs that had plastic in there. Um, so functional bag, um, you know, no frills. Uh, this, I should point out that this outer pocket on the outside is also designed to hold your laptop. So uh, they show I guess a little iPad thing here too, but um, you can fit you know, laptop here, iPad, uh, iPad there, whatever you need uh, to hold your electronic devices quite nicely. And then if I come over here and take a look at the Streetwalker, so in top, you have a place for your um, business cards. Let me open this up. On the inside, you'll see that we have a, um, a 7 um, 7200 lens with the uh, hood on, as well as some flash and lenses and so on. This is a really deep bag, so it can. I uh, do pretty well with um, big size gear and I'll cover that more on my blog in the um, actual photos I do. Um, same kind of setup here with Nikon. Um, pretty reasonable amount of storage space on the inside. And again, your tripod belt, your cover, frame cover. Uh, a lot more dividers, still the thin kind. Uh, versus the old traditional kind that were like this. Um, you have a little deeper pocket here for your camera body. It's a little more shallow on the sides, but overall it's pretty deep. Um, if I were to grab my uh, 200 millimeter, I can shoot 100 millimeter macro, you can see it fits in there quite nicely below the um, divider, so uh, this is not going to have any problems holding lenses and uh, big camera bodies. Again, I'll cover that in the photos of the blog. You also see here that I have my um, plastic pockets on here. I kind of prefer the other bags, breathable pockets, but these work. It's functional. And then you'll notice here one thing I didn't cover earlier. I'm covering the plastic bag. Is your place to put your laptop? And there's like a little. Uh, divider here because this actually connects with the inside of the bag so you can fold this thing down to give you more laptop space at the, the cost of space on the inside or if your laptop fits in there since so it's a 15.4 inch laptop uh, fit nicely so that's the two think tank photo bags right for, for today and please visit ronmartblog.com Look on the right hand column for my, all of my reviews and you'll be able to find both of these bags where I discuss uh, more in the article about what they fit and a few pictures. Thanks for joining me. Oh, and don't forget your special offer on ronmartblog.com for all Think Tank photo products.